In Orange Belt, we learned what to do if somebody were to grab a hold of your lapel. We learned a technique called lone kimono, where he grabbed us just with his left. We pinned, we twisted, we stepped back, and we made an attempt to hyperextend that elbow. In Purple Belt, you have a technique called twin kimono, which is basically the same idea. These are sister techniques. Twin, he's grabbing me with two hands right now. My left, just like in our lone kimono, is going to come across, attempt to grab both of these, and pin them both to my chest. The only difference is when I step back, I'm going to be unable to just focus my attention on that left elbow. My attention is now going to be switched to his right. And what I'm going to do is take my radius, get that underneath his elbow joint, and pull. Get him up on his uh, tippy toes right here. Now what goes up must come down, so I can't hold him up like this on his tippy toes forever. When he comes down, I'm going to step up the circle, back fist through his ribs. If his hands happen to be up here a little bit, what I'll do is I'll clear these off and do a sword strike in his throat. Let's go ahead and switch that angle. Give you guys a better angle on what I'm doing to his elbow right here. So this part we understand. Go ahead and we pin these close to us so that he can't hit us with either one of these hands. We're going to step back. I'm almost starting off with my arms straight. Okay, my biceps right now are touching his left arm. And my radius right now is just barely starting to make contact with that right elbow. And what will happen now is I'll just bring my hand towards myself, which kind of tends to lift him up like this. Step up the circle, <coughs> back fist. If his hands are up, that's great. We can clear him. If he's doubled over really far, we can just hammer fist him in the head. All right, so we'll try it from this angle. 